I'm here with James Corbett. Uh, James, uh, what do you think about the party so far? Uh, it feels just like home. Sydney's been so special to me in the last four years. I feel like I've achieved so much. I've met so many friends. I've uh, built such a beautiful network here. I love Sydney. So the Science Fiction is one of the brands that I run in, in Adelaide. And typically the, the turnout that we have would be similar to what we have tonight on a really good event. They less seem to be less interested in the big headliners than more interested in like the more Aussie talent. Uh, it's probably the first time I've done it on a legitimately full-time official role. Um, I've definitely dabbled with assisting other people with running their underground events. Um, I helped out with This Is Life Festival in Bali. Very, very particular um, and really enjoy the art of curating like music like th those first few sets are very crucial you know you got you got to give the headliners the props you can't just like steal the thunder so if other festivals see you like pumping and playing at this festival or whatever gig you're playing at and you're making that seem like that's the party that you need to be at they're going to want you to play at their festival that's just how it goes Hello everybody from Zenith Gathering Launch Party in Sydney at Darling Harbour at home the venue. What a way, what a venue, uh, epic. Uh, I'm here with James Corbett. Uh, James, uh, what do you think about the party so far? Uh, it feels just like home. <laughs> uh, no, it's actually pretty wild. Like it's a nice, nice intimate setting, uh, but absolutely jam packed. I think everyone there is frothing frothing the side chance and it was nice to see us be able to start early with a bang with Tristan playing full on so early in the night and everyone just absolutely up for it and now we're continuing that journey going a little bit down before we bring it up bring it back up again but uh, amazing amazing so you're playing next uh, what can we expect from you today I'm going to deliver a nice nice psychedelic melodic set um, which I know is very similar to what I sort of normally play obviously that's my sound but like I'm having particular attention to have the, the melodic sort of vibes that give you the feels. And yeah, we're gonna go a little bit pumping towards the end, but I'm gonna tape it off to lead in nicely for Nikki's set, because you know, you gotta you got give the headliners the props, you can't just like steal the thunder, so blend in nicely for her. And then after that, we're, we're doing a versus set, so yeah. And what is that gonna be like? We're going to just smash out our favorite tracks from United Beats Records, so nothing but, yeah, all thrillers and no fillers. As you've said on social media, this is your last show as Sydney resident. Uh, do you be, do you feel a bit sad living in Sydney? Yeah, honestly, like this is actually quite a, a mixed emotional event because Sydney's been so special to me in the last four years. I feel like I've achieved so much. I've met so many friends. I've uh, built such a beautiful network here. I love Sydney, so absolutely, this is yeah very very iconic um, and I guess in home nightclub like the you know the most famous club in Sydney so it, on Darling Harbour like it couldn't be more iconic than tonight so yeah definitely emotional but I'll be back like I, I just won't be playing as often here so uh, what's the music scene in Ad you, you are going to Adelaide what, what's the music scene over there like yeah in terms of Psytrance we do have a small like tight-knit community with Psytrance uh, enthusiasts I feel like you know, when we do uh, run, so the science fiction is one of the brands that I run in, in Adelaide and typically the, the turnout that we have would be similar to what we have tonight on a really good event. Um, there's definitely some people there that love it. They less seem to be less interested in the big headliners than more interested in like the more Aussie talent. Um, I think there's more just like the culture of Adelaide just liking that grassroots sort of vibe being able to connect with the people that live amongst them um, they're not very big on like superstardom but that's not to say that they're all like that that's just a, that's the general vibe so you are now since recently a music director for Zenith's gathering festival uh, have you had uh, this sort of positions before for any other festivals or events uh, the, as a music director or is it the first experience uh, it's probably the first time I've done it on a legitimately full-time official role. Um, I've definitely dabbled with assisting other people with running their underground events. Um, I helped out with This Is Life Festival in Bali, uh, which was a basically semi-music director role. Other than that, I've just been running events for 20 years, structuring my own lineup. So I kind of 
very, very particular um, and really enjoy the art of curating like music. Like it's like to me, curating a lineup for a festival is almost like curating your DJ set, except on a whole different level because you're also curating other music tastes that you're not necessarily listen to every day yourself. I love all different types of music, but you're gonna like gotta create go, this is what people generally like at this time of the day. This is how you're gonna like basically make people's day. Like th those first few sets are very crucial to set up the day and get people like in a good vibe. You don't want to go too dark. You want to keep things friendly. You want to like at, at the end of the day, maybe you want to finish off with a bang and go like full energy, or maybe you want to like again taper it off and just like have people have a, a good sort of rest. So you're kind of really structuring that festival to be guided by the way you want them to be. Yeah. You, you uh, when working with artists, I found you very encouraging and uh, for the artists. So, is it something that comes natural, or is it something that you actually have to make yourself do in that position? You mean in terms of encouraging people to do? Uh, yeah, to basically promote the event and uh, be active and. Yeah, I think uh, it's something that I've noticed. It's something that I'm very passionate about helping other people help themselves so when you are playing at a festival or any event really like if you if you if someone has taken the time to book you you should have the respect to take the time to promote the event that you're playing at and some people are not quite as good at that and that's just natural to them and that's absolutely totally fine so I'm always happy to help people with ideas on how to actually you know help promote the event because at the end of the day you're promoting yourself and when you are promoting yourself you're putting yourself out there for other gigs like if, if other festivals see you like pumping and playing at this festival or whatever gig you're playing at and you're making that seem like that's the party that you need to be at they're going to want you to play at their festival that's just how it goes like I know because that's how it's happened to me they see you doing things in the scene for me it wasn't just like playing at festivals it was doing other stuff like podcasts interviews like this you just need to be active and showing like you have interest in putting something back into the community, supporting the scene that supports you, and yeah, just doing shit, doing cool shit. Well, thank you. Uh, look forward to your set. Look forward to your. Oh, actually, I'm gonna miss your back-to-back -back set because I'm gonna be playing on the other stage. Uh, Ooh, okay. <laughs> but uh, thank you for talking to me. Uh, really looking forward to Zenith gathering. Uh, at, uh, any last words? Oh, uh, look, I'm. I thank you Sydney for welcoming me and, and for everyone that I've met here and built a network like absolutely love and adore like all of you if, if you're not forgotten you would definitely have a place here um, and yeah I'll hopefully uh, for those of you that I can't see right now like I'm going to see you at Zenith Gathering in November and yeah we'll have like four days to be able to network and enjoy some good tunes in the sun so yeah that's it awesome thank you very much thank you thank you for having me bro thank you appreciate it